Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of OpenCart Replace Add to Cart button plugin and in today's video tutorial we'll be showing you how the Webso admin would be able to replace the Add to Cart button functionality uh, with uh, the option of text, link, phone and email uh, for the Add to Cart button and uh, we'll also be showing you the uh, Webstore front end uh, functionality wherein the customers can uh, see the product and the uh, uh, and the add to cart button uh, that would then be replaced by a text link phone or email so basically the uh, add to cart button is very important uh, to your e-commerce store because uh, it helps you to add the products into the cart to make a checkout so uh, basically now the admin can uh, have the uh, facility to change uh, the uh, what we say as the default functionality of the add to cart button so uh, let's go to the store front end and let's see how uh, we can uh, check that uh, from the customer's perspective so for that let me open the demo for the same so uh, right now I'm at the uh, store front for the open cart web store as you can see right now so if I scroll down and uh, here you can see the uh, default uh, uh, functionality and the text for the add to cart uh, button has been replaced by this uh, particular text that's the uh, demo product now it depends upon the admin whether he wants to set up a link uh, for the uh, add to cart button so that whenever a customer taps here on the add to cart button uh, he'll be redirected to the actual uh, information page for that particular product and uh, uh, a telephone number can also be set up here for this particular add to cart button so that uh, using that the uh, customers can access the uh, admin itself apart from that you can also set up a text here uh, for a better understanding of the customers so right now you can see that on this particular uh, uh, product page we have this functionality wherein we have right now changed the uh, label for the add to cart button and have set up a functionality for that so if I open if uh, let's uh, open that up and uh, I'll just choose the size and the color the quantity and uh, I'll just tap here on the demo product uh, label uh, for the add to cart button that was there actually so let's see what happens so actually it directly adds the product into the cart and here we can see the product itself and uh, now you can see the uh, add to cart button for all of the products there have been changed to the uh, demo product uh, label on the add to cart button and uh, the admin will also uh, set up uh, a category or product uh, or the uh, any other page uh, that uh, is there within your store uh, for that particular add to cart uh, button for example here we have the demo product if you can see right now let me open that in another window so here you can see that we have set it as uh, demo product as the label and attached a link to that so now whichever link you have attached uh, that uh, uh, link page would be opened when the customer taps on the uh, demo product let me take you back so for example here we have set up we have replaced the URL here and after tapping here on the demo product the customer is redirected uh, to the other page that the admin has uh, used uh, so for that page the link the admin has set up uh, redirects the customer to that particular page here to the admin backend panel and then I'll be demonstrating you each of the uh, things there so as we have already told you the admin can replace the add to cart button with the other functionalities as well and uh, these include the text link email and the phone number and according to your store view as well you can set up the uh, replace button text there uh, for your uh, products and uh, from the actions you can choose whether you want to set it as only text you want to set it as uh, a link uh, within that particular uh, button you want to set up an email address or a telephone number so uh, let's get uh, back to the admin backend panel and uh, after logging in I'll be showing you each of these functionalities one by one how we can make use of a, a text along with the link or other actions for uh, each of the provided ones so uh, let me log into the uh, OpenCut web store by entering my username and the password and I'll just tap here on the login button now uh, after you have uh, as an admin after you have uh, installed this particular product uh, for the configuration 
you just need to navigate through uh, extension then uh, e extensions on the extensions page just choose uh, modules and that will bring up the complete list of the same and uh, here we'll just need navigate to the web cool replace add to cart uh, plugin and tap here on the edit button and now you can see that we are on the page that's the replace add to cart by web cool so uh, from here you can set up the configurations uh, for this particular replace add to cart button so uh, initially you can set up the status uh, as disabled or enabled disable to enable this particular functionality otherwise uh, to disable just choose uh, disable then uh, you can choose the store where you want to apply this particular uh, functionality if you have multiple stores then you can set up uh, multiple options there for each of the, your store waves then we have the type so basically here are four different types of types and uh, for each we need to set up the uh, um, info there so the very first option that we have uh, under the type is text link then the link then email and the phone number so if i tap here on the link uh, type you can see that we have an option to replace the url then if i tap here on the email then we can set up the email type like whether this uh, particular email would be sent out to the uh, admin or you can set it as custom as well so uh, if you tap here on the custom then you can enter your uh, custom email and this email uh, will be used if any email type is uh, custom and uh, you can choose the admins as well so if you choose this as admin then the admin email would be used up and for the phone you can enter your multiple phone numbers uh, so that the customers can uh, contact you back so we have it set it as enable store is default now let's go to text and I'll be changing this uh, 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 button uh, add to cart button label first so uh, I'll set it as uh, test mode and uh, thereafter I'll be choosing the action so uh, from the actions we can choose text email link and phone i'll choose it as text text uh, type is text and the action is test and thereafter i'll just tap here on the uh, save button all right uh, the settings have been changed and uh, here we are on the front end now as a customer so the demo product label link was there initially now let me refresh this page so uh, the uh, type is text and uh, the action is text so right now you can see that the add to cart uh, text has changed to test mode and if i tap here on the uh, test mode this particular uh, product would be added into the cart let me take you back let's scroll down to the configuration settings tap edit so uh, text to text uh, allows to change the label of the add to cart button and uh, the default functionality to add to the cart is there now if we go to the link section and here uh, the admin can set up the link as well so for example uh, uh, if I add uh, the uh, URL uh, of the uh, product page uh, for the store of this particular plugin I can use that as well right now you can see that uh, so, uh, you can set your URL as per your own requirement there and uh, you just need to uh, set up the uh, the root of the URL itself so for example if the URL is like this will be entering uh, only information forward slash contact here uh, within this uh, section here and then you just need to uh, save it and uh, then whenever the customer taps on the uh, button uh, that has the text test mode uh, he'll be redirected to the set url so uh, before saving we just need to uh, choose here as uh, the link so it's the link and the link now let's come to the email so we can choose the email type as whether it the admin should be used or the custom so if we choose as custom then the custom email can be set up here and you can choose from here email and then tap on the save button and now uh, let me go to the storefront and let's see how it works for that uh, when we have chosen the action as uh, email and uh, the type as email as well so here we have the uh, custom one that we have chosen so let's go to the storefront now so here we are on the storefront right now the add to cart button is there so after tapping it it brings up this uh, particular pop-up wherein the customer can enter the uh, subject and uh, can enter the mail from so you just need to enter your email address using which you will be sending out the email 
and then you can set up uh, the text for the uh, admin uh, like what if you want to ask the admin something uh, like this that's just a random word there and just tap here on the send button and uh, your mail will be sent out uh, to the respective uh, admin or on the custom uh, email that the admin has set up from the back end uh, panel here and lastly we have the phone number so from here you can add uh, or delete any of the numbers that you have to add a number just tap here on the add button enter your telephone number and uh, here choose it as phone then you can tap here on the save button let's go back let's refresh and now if I tap here on the uh, button you can see that uh, now the customers can uh, call back the company uh, on the email and the telephone number as well so the telephone numbers are visible for the uh, contact to the uh, store owner there so this is how the admin can set up the functionality of this particular product uh, using which the admin can uh, change the label for the add to cart button and the actions as well so we just went through the actions uh, that were there in the configuration of this particular plugin so uh, we check the text to text and uh, link to text email to text sorry I'm sorry for that uh, text to text link to uh, link and email to email and then phone number to phone number and uh, one more thing is there I just uh, came out of that configuration settings so you can also make use of this as a text to email text to link or text to phone number as well and uh, the same goes with the link for the link you can set up the action as email or a link or a telephone number so for the text let me show you if we have chosen the text for the uh, add to cart button as test mode and the action we have chosen as not as text but email let me save this up I'll be refreshing this particular web store uh, front end page let's scroll down now if I tap here on the add to cart button you can see that the email section has popped up uh, for the customers to make use of so let's go back so that's how we can make use of the text to uh, action different actions as well if I choose here as a, uh, as a phone number alright and if I go back tap here on the save button go to the storefront and uh, refresh the particular page and then if we tap here on the add to cart button you can see the uh, telephone number has now popped up for the customers to check so that they can contact the store owner so uh, that's how this particular plugin works and uh, I think uh, it would have helped you in understanding the flow of the same and uh, we also checked out uh, the different configuration settings for the uh, web tools uh, replace add to cart button as you can see here and uh, that was much about this particular plugin so uh, that was much and if you uh, have any questions queries suggestions or requirements then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uvidus.com thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead